Hi, first grade. This is day number one of our three-dimensional caterpillar project. Today you will need, uh, let's see, one piece of paper. You're going to need two total, but you just need one piece of paper today. And you are going to go ahead and you're going to follow along with me with folding up your paper. We're going to color the caterpillar's body today. It won't look like a caterpillar until the very last day. All right, so you're going to take your paper, it's horizontal, you're going to fold it in half like a book, and then you're going to take your book and you're going to fold it in half. Again, when you open it up, you are going to have four spaces. So I lied. Um, I want you to have more than four spaces. So close the book back up, go back on the creases so you have this small thing, fold it one more time. So actually, when you open it up, you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces, okay? I want you to choose three colors of your choice. Um, this is going to be for your caterpillar, keep in mind. It can be any colors you want. It doesn't have to be a realistic caterpillar. Keep in mind, later on, we will be doing a leaf. So if you're going to do your leaf green and you want your caterpillar green, maybe choose a different shade, if that makes sense. So I think for my caterpillar, I'm going to have a green. I'm going to have actually an orange, purple, and light green caterpillar. Okay. So in those spaces that you folded, you are going to make a pattern. So this first space, I'm using the fold as my guideline, but I'm going to color in this whole strip green. Let's pretend I'm done coloring in this whole strip green. Remember, hide the paper when you color. And see, that one's kind of hard to see with the camera. Let me do my orange next. Here's my crease. I'm going to follow the crease as a guideline. And I'm going to color in this whole space orange from this end of the strip all the way down from here to here. You do not have to do these three colors that I'm doing. You can do any three you want. Okay, let's pretend I'm going to scribble scrabble this so you get the idea, but you're going to color it in nice and neat. All right, so this one's orange. So let's say this next one is going to be purple. So you're going to be making a ABC pattern for now. I'm scribble scrabbling. You're going to hide the paper when you're coloring. I'm just trying to speed it up so this video doesn't take forever. My project at the end will look nice. Okay? So I have purple, orange, or green, orange, purple. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll do green, and I'll use a little space, and I'm going to hide the paper when I color. Orange, purple. And you're going to do a much better job of coloring than me. And then I'll do green. And then I don't have any room for my purple, but I have room for my orange. All right. You're not going to do anything else today except color in these spaces. Later on, we'll be cutting these out, and it'll be part of our caterpillar. All right, friends. Keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. Bye.